what is up you guys it's Alexa and welcome back to my channel so as you guys know it is festival season in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five DIYs that you can basically do within five minutes except for one there's like one that takes a little bit longer these tutorials are perfect for anyone that doesn't really have their outfits yet Coachella weekend one is literally like tomorrow so if you're going to that weekend I hope you guys have your outfits and I hope you're not watching this video for outfit ideas because girl it's like tomorrow if anyone that's going to Coachella weekend two or any future festivals I hope this video can help you guys out. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. I'm so sorry, my voice is gone again. I do not know how. And it's always the day after I hang out with the princess. There are five tutorials to show you, so let's jump right into the first one. For this off shoulder top, all you need is a striped kid shirt. I'm using a boy size 7 and scissors. I use the lines as my guide and starting from the sleeves, I cut all the way across the top and then I cut across the tummy. After trying it on, I still felt it was a little too long so I also cut off the top red stripe. I also went in afterwards to clean up the cuts and make sure all the lines were even. No one is going to wear pants in the middle of a desert, whatever, but anyways, look at this little boy top that came out to be a really cute off the shoulder striped top. This is just another really dangerous reason for me to shop in the little kid section. I need to get out of that section, I'm always shopping there. And then I also threw on this desert belt that I have never worn in my life, but I thrifted it like, I don't know, 10 million years ago. I found this cute skirt at the thrift store and I transformed it into a mini shift dress. The materials I used were a knee length skirt, thin elastic, mini binder clips, scissors, pins, and E6000 glue. First cut two pieces of elastic that fit over your shoulders. I then opened the skirt and added a drop of glue in the inside of the waistband. Next I placed one end of the elastic on top. This next part is optional, but for some reason, I felt that it would be more secure if I added a piece of elastic over the elastic end. So I added glue across the elastic end, cut a small piece of elastic, and placed it on top. Hold everything in place with a binder clip afterwards. Next, repeat to the other side. I am doing the same thing in this clip as I was in the previous clip, but this time it's more up close. Before gluing down the other end of the elastic to the back, I pinned it in place first to make sure I was happy with the strap length. I suggest trying on the dress first before gluing the straps down. Once all four strap ends are glued down, let this dry overnight before bringing it to the festival and getting all crazy in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know how hard it was to not have to sew these things? Like when I was gluing them, I was like, this would be so much easier if I could just sew it. It'll be done in like one second. That's what the tutorial was. No sew, so I had to suck it up and not sew anything. But it was actually kind of nice not having to sew anything. I don't wear many polka dots or frills, so this is different. But I am kind of into it, so. <laughs> This next one isn't a DIY but just a hack because sleeping shirts make great satin dresses if you guys didn't know that already. First I just unbuttoned the shirt halfway and I added a belt to my waist. You can use any belt you want but I prefer to use dangle chain belts because I feel like they look best in my opinion. Then I like to pull the shirt up over the belt and gather the material towards the front. Of course you gotta show off that one shoulder and after that that's pretty much it. Now you have yourself a cute satin oversized dress. This is like one of my favorite things to do. I like that the little side things end up here. That way you could have a little leg side slit. This glitter bandeau is honestly just fabric. I just rolled it up and wearing it as a bandeau. It's kind of itchy actually, it kind of hurts. So yeah, this is just a hack. No DIYs or anything, but it's one of the most simplest hacks ever. And everyone would think that you have a really cute satin romper dress thing. <laughs> For this two-piece top, all you need is a tee. This one is from the boys section in a size 10 through 12 and some scissors. 
Start about an inch below the armpit and cut a U shape across the shirt. Fold the excess material in half and use the bottom hem as a guide to cut a straight line. Match up the side seams to find your center front and cut down the shirt. Next you want to fold the piece into thirds. Wrap it around your chest and make sure the side with the seam is facing outwards. Tie the two ends with a hair tie as tight as you can and then flip the top inside out. So now that the side with the seam is in the inside. Throw on the top part of your tee and you are finished and done and ready to party and do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I honestly feel like I could be a part of Destiny's Child Soldier video because this is like the total look. Or this is like super sexy G.I. Jane Halloween costume. The excess material gives it a little bit more boobage, not that I care, you guys know me, I don't really care for that, but if you're into that, then there you go. And lastly, for this bedazzled skirt, you need wide fishnet material, rhinestones, scissors, and E6000 glue. Cut a rectangle piece of material that wraps around your body. I literally just wrapped the fishnet around and cut out a rectangle. There's nothing much to it. I didn't use a ruler or anything. I kind of just used my free hand. Then add droplets of glue to the fishnet and place rhinestones on top. I found it was more efficient to place multiple drops of glue first, like three to four in a row, and then put the stones on after. I also found it was easiest to use a toothpick and tweezers as mini tools, but honestly, I think that's just because my nails are really long. Let this dry overnight to ensure all the stones stay in place. So doing this mini skirt, it probably took me about an hour to put all these rhinestones on, a lot longer than five minutes, but if you think about it, you could do it on your way to Coachella because even from LA, it'll take you like two hours to get all the way to Indio so technically you could make the skirt Friday while you're driving up there have the skirt ready for Saturday or Sunday and bam you have your outfit you did it in the car girl that's why I suggest doing a mini skirt and not a maxi skirt because oh my god you'll be there rhinestoning forever I'm using these high-waisted bottoms underneath my skirt and these are actually just my cheerleader bottoms from high school you know like cheerleader spankies I just wrapped the skirt around my waist and tucked the top of the material into the waistband. I then added a belt on the top to hide any ugliness. outfit I'm actually going to be wearing to one party. I obviously won't be bringing my Versace belt because like obviously not. Just wanted to do like a little bougie festival boho. I don't, this is not even boho. Just wanted to be extra and bougie. Oh, I'm living for these sparkles. <laughs> I'm basically half naked so but it's the festival it's the desert it's California it's hot so it's okay oh look how pretty so gorgeous and sparkly Ooh, I can't get enough of it thank you so so much for watching and I hope this video helped out someone out there that is procrastinating and lagging so hard on getting their outfits together if you guys enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that if you guys want to connect with me on social media all my socials are at the Nava Rose and if anyone's going to Coachella or any of the festivals I hope you guys have a safe and fun time over there I wish I was going unfortunately I'm not going this year but I am going to some of the parties weekend one so if you guys are going I might see you guys there that is it for this video i love you guys all and i'll see you guys in the next one bye